Hey everybody, it's Sean from Japanese in a Year. And in this video, I want to show you how to create some little flag icons for your uh, Fluent Forever multi-search. This is not really a big deal, but I find them kind of cool and uh, visually appealing. So if you want to do that, here's how. I'm going to assume that you already know what multi-search is. Uh, I gave a demonstration of this for Japanese in uh, vlog number four, I think it is, for learning vocabulary. But anyway, you probably have one of these for your language already. And so you'll get something like this. I have a whole bunch of languages here, but let's say the Chrome Italian one. You have this little app, which is your uh, multi-search. And so you see there's no icon. It's just kind of this dry, boring uh, thing, not very inspiring, which is fine. But what I prefer to have is little country flags on my different multi-searches. On a practical level, they're actually really useful if you're using multi-search for multiple languages. So you can easily tell which one is which. So the first thing you need is an image. And if you just Google, I don't know, country flag, yeah, there you go, country flag icon, you should be able to find a whole bunch of stuff for free really easily. So once you have an image, I'll show you how to install it on a Mac. This is kind of a counterintuitive process, and I don't know why it's so complicated, but Anyway, here's how you do it. First of all, you find your multi-search app. You're going to right-click and click Get Info. And then you're going to take your image. So I'm going to grab a different Italian one here. Open that image in Preview. And this is the kind of dumb part, is that you have to click on this Select All, Command A, copy it, Command C, and then go over here, click on this part so that it's blue and highlighted and then paste it, Command V. I can close this, it's saved automatically, and then when I open my Chrome Italian search, now if we look in the bar down here, it's got the flag. So that is how you add an icon to your multi-search, or to any file for that matter, on a Mac. And I hope that that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.